In this video, I'm gonna share with you golf's only secret. And I so, so wish I'd have been taught this when I was an amateur golfer. It would have saved me years of pain trying to figure it out. Now, no matter what shot you're playing, whether you find yourself dribbling it along the ground, topping the ball, or slicing it over to the right, or hooking it over to the left, to understand how to cure this, you need to appreciate exactly what is happening to the golf club at the moment of impact, okay? You, I don't care what your swing looks like, okay? There's so many weird and wonderful swings on tour, but you need to understand precisely what the club is doing at impact to solve all of your problems. But here's the secret. That club is traveling too fast. So where the secret lies is in your ability to read the ball flight. Understanding what the ball flight is doing and watching the ball flight will give you everything you need to know to cure your top, your slice, your hook. And today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you exactly how you can start doing that. I'm gonna give you a simple demonstration. I'm gonna hit a shot, and this is the reason why I'm a professional. I'm gonna hit a shot for you and show you exactly what I mean. That ball, look, watch this, has gone left of target. And you, can you see it curving over there, right? I'm gonna show you now, I know what that club has done at impact without any numbers on the screen. The path of that club is out to win, okay? It swung across the line of the golf ball. So we're gonna see a minus path number on Trackman. The club face is close to that path, okay? I know this, so the club face, will, face to path will also be a minus number. But you don't need Trackman. You need to know what I've just uh, know there. I can see it, I see the ball flights, give me all my answers. Have a look at this. I'm gonna go into the Trackman here, and I'm gonna look at club path, there's the minus number. Face to path, there we go, put it back on screen. We both have minus numbers. How did I know that without going into the system? The ball flight. So let's go into now how you can start learning this yourself because now I know that that club face is closed, I know that the path was slightly left. I've now got the tools to start working on improving my swing. Let's start with you. Now if you're hitting a beautiful straight shot that is well struck, from that ball flight, I don't care what your swing looks like, doesn't matter, I know that you have perfectly done this. Your club has arced beautifully back on an arc here. The club has arrived perfectly square. That basically means the face now is at 90 degrees to the target line. Your club has then arced beautifully back around, very much similar to like a swing door, okay, where you've caught it absolutely at the right time with a perfectly square face. But if you're not hitting it straight, and you're not striking it well, the great thing is, you can only be doing a few things wrong. Either your club path is too far to the right, or too far to the left. Your club face is either aiming too far to the left, or your club face is aiming too far to the right. Or finally, your club attack angle, you are attacking either too steep on the ball, or too shallow, you're hitting up on it too much, okay? So what we've got to figure out right now is, is in the shots that you're hitting, which or what are you doing wrong? If we can figure those out, you're gonna have now a beautiful recipe that's gonna solve all of your golfing problems. So to make things easier, let's divide the two shots into two families. Balls that set off to the right of target and balls that set off to the left of target. Now, if your ball sets off to the right of target and flies straight to the right, here's what I know you're doing. You are catching the ball very early on the arc. Before it's had a chance to straighten up, you're catching the ball early on the arc. The club face is completely square to the path, but aiming to the right of target. This will give you a straight shot out to the right. Now, if you aren't hitting the ball straight to the right, but you're actually hitting it right, and then it's curving to the right, here's what you're doing differently. Same thing, you're catching it too early on the app before it's got a chance to come back around to straight, but this time, your club face is aiming right of the path you're swinging on, okay? It's open, and this is giving you the kind of the curvature that's going right and then continues to go right. Now, if you're hooking the golf ball, same principle, if the ball sets off to the right 
and you hook and it hooks and curves over to the left, here's what you're doing. Same principle, you again catching the ball early on the act before it's got a chance to straighten up. But this time, the club face is close to the path that it's on. Then this is going to give you a ball that sets off to the right and flies quite low and hooks over to the left hand side or curves over to the left hand side. So let me know in the comments if this is your family, right? Now, the other family is the ball that sets off left of target. Now, let me know in the comments if this is you. This time, you catch the ball. The ball sets off straight to the left, okay, fly straight. This time, you're catching the ball very late on the act. So rather than catching it early or perfect, you're now catching the ball late. The club face is completely square to the path and flies dead straight. If your ball flies, sets off left, but now curves to the left, okay, we call this a pull hook, your club face now is close to the path but you're still late, okay? You're still swinging this way. If you slice the golf ball and the ball actually starts off left and then curves over this way, again, you are catching the ball not early, not perfect, but late on the arc. What you're doing now is, is you're catching it late on the arc, but this time your club face is open to the path it's heading on and this is giving you your curvature. So again, let me know in the comments, which one of them do you think you are? We'll talk about some solutions in a second, all right? So I know at first glance, all of that can seem very detailed, sometimes maybe even a bit complex, but if you take the time to learn it, it will give you all the necessary tools to make significant progress really, really quickly. I wish I'd have done this. It would save me years of practice. And I gave this to a recent student. Now, let me give you an example of this. The student came to me and he was hitting the ball low along the ground and to the right hand side. And the first thing he said, oh Danny, I'm, I'm hitting bad shots, I've lost my golf swing. Well, imagine it, with that thought press, has, has he got any opportunity of improving? No. And he probably would go down a myriad of various different YouTube videos to try and solve what he doesn't really know what he's solving, yeah? So I said to him, if the ball goes to the right, now I'm asking you this, where is he striking the golf ball? Too early on the arc, isn't he? Early, not on time. So the ball club path is heading where? To the right hand side. Where's the club face if it's going straight to the right? It's square to that path. It's path. Now we haven't covered this yet, so I'll bring it up now. He was thinning the ball. If you thin the ball along the ground, you are hitting up. So you are catching the ball on the way up as opposed to on the way down. Now, once he knew this, he now had a very simple solution. He needed to swing more down on the golf ball and more left, swing more left. And that's all he did. He simply went, oh, so I've got to swing more down. No, not quite, I'll keep going. There you go, now you hang down, now more left. But Danny, that feels I'm going here, way left. I said, yeah, just keep going. And what happened is, is do you think he turned his, uh, the strike improved like instantly? No, but what he did is it went more and more left. He got higher and higher. And before you know, as he start, kept making more and more alterations to cure it, it got better and better and better until he started to hit it beautifully straight. Why? Because he read the ball flight and worked back from there in a very, very simple way. So you're gonna see me in action in a second. Uh, just give me a very, very quick lesson to my videographer, Leo, uh, when I go through this exact process. But before we do, let's just discuss strike. So strike, the main influence on strike is his when in the downswing do you strike the golf ball? So the angle of attack. Now with irons, we want to strike the ball then the ground. So we catch the ball before the club arrives at the bottom of its arc. With balls off a tee, like a driver, we want to catch the ball just after the low point of the arc so we catch it slightly on the way up. So what can you see in the ball flight that will tell you exactly what you're doing? So let's start with if you are doing excessive of this, if you are coming down too steeply on it, okay? This is what you're gonna see. You're gonna see a ball flight that travels very, very low if you strike the ball first. You're also gonna see, if you find that you top the golf ball, but the top also goes left, this is another sign that you're coming steep on the golf ball, if it's top and the ball generally goes left. The other thing is this, if you catch the ground behind the golf ball and the divot is quite big, this is another sign that you've come steeply into the golf ball. So check that out, which one are you? 
If on the other hand, you're not coming steep, but you're too shallow, you're hitting up on it too much, you're gonna see a ball flight that thins along the ground. It's gonna go, and the thins tend to go either straight or to the right of target along the ground, okay? That's similar to the student that I was talking to uh, about earlier. When you do strike a golf ball, you probably won't strike it with much of a divot and the ball will travel super, super high. This is again, is another indication that your impact is very shallow. You're not catching it on the way down, but slightly on the way up. And finally, you could catch the ground behind the golf ball, but your divot is not deep. It's shallow because you're not digging into the ground behind, you're catching the ground behind the golf ball and swinging up. Okay, so this is the things that you need to look at if you are um, struggling with your ball striking. So I thought what would be a really great idea now would be to bring Leo in. He's my videographer who's a beginner golfer. And I want you to imagine he's just stepped up on the driving range, okay? And he starts to hit some shots. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna see if we can learn from the ball flight. I haven't put any figures on here. We're gonna learn from the ball flight and see what Leo could do to make real progress in his game simply by viewing this. Cool. Okay, all right? Yeah. Let's have a look. All right, let's go for it. Okay, it's okay, but this is a real compromise. So, wow. Leah, you have just there skied the ball, all right? So I want you to, and this is a real common problem, right? Yeah, so, that tends to happen with me. Is, yeah, okay, yeah. right, what we're gonna see here, this brand spanking new driver, you're gonna see, and this is logic, you're gonna see a little mark on top of the driver, okay? Now, what does this mean? If the ball goes straight up in the air, that I know for a fact that you have done what? Yeah, come to. Come down on that golf ball, sure. and this has created the shot that's gonna sky up in the air, yeah. okay? So what we've got to do is we wouldn't alter that to start. We wouldn't do anything initially because it's just one shot. Yeah. But if that started to become a pattern, then we would do things to kind of help you shallow out the, the actual impact yeah. as opposed to come down steep on the shot, okay. all right? Cool. But no, pause there, pause, pause, right? So that there yeah. was perfect because you've just hit a top shot. Now these are com two completely different shots out okay, there. Okay. But do you know what? They're exactly the same swing. Okay. Because what you've done yeah. is, is you have there come down on top of the golf ball. Right, okay. The difference is, is you've come down on top of it, which has hit the top of the ball. Right. As a, but it's the same thing. You yeah, just yeah, missed yeah. tiny, but the same principle. Yeah. All right. Okay. So again, same again. So all these things here, if you go back to the, uh, what we just talked about in terms of ball flight, they're gonna give you the, all the answers, all right? So what do you need to do? Based on what we've just seen there, what is the answer to start to make progress with your driver? What do you need, to, what needs to happen through the impact area that you're not doing right now? Just shallow it out and come, back, come up. Exactly, yeah. fantastic. So think about what you need to do with it, the way you set up to this golf ball, sure. that's gonna help you hit yeah, and become more shallow. Okay, yeah. okay. How's that feel? Yeah, a lot better. A lot better. Yeah, felt like. Makes sense? Yeah. Yeah? So, slightly better sound, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah? So, so if you were to persist with this, start to work on this, and then keep reading the ball flight as and when, sure. yeah? Then you're gonna start to make those tiny little adjustments because you're now in control. Yeah. So clearly, all of this is complicated until you understand ball flight and that is a difference between uh, myself as a professional and maybe Leah as an amateur is I can quickly bang I know what's happening why because I've learned what I've shared in this video so please 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 go and learn it once you do right once you've got the idea if you are in the slice family please look at this video right here if you are struggling with your ball striking go to this video right here these compliments it absolutely amazingly well hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did and of course look join the channel free have a great have a great golfing week cheers